Hi, it's Colleen from Keeping the Peace, and welcome back for another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today we're answering a question or a statement, really, from a gentleman in the down bar of racking the slide like a lady. It's one of my older videos. If you haven't seen it, you can click the link here if you'd like to watch it now. The gentleman's name on YouTube is John Whitford, and he says, So I assume from your video that you recommend a semi-auto for women. I kind of get the feeling that uh, he's perturbed by that, because a lot of people automatically recommend revolvers for women because they think women are not capable of running semi-autos. They think they need something extremely simple, and they think that a revolver is very simple. I would argue that fighting with a revolver would be not as simple <laughs> as it looks. Now, a revolver, generally, you point it and shoot it. You don't have to cycle a slide. You don't have to insert a magazine or drop a magazine. However, to reload it, you do have to open a cylinder, extract the rounds, and load in new ones one by one unless you can learn to use um, a speed loader quickly. Also, Pressing the trigger is a lot more difficult on the majority of revolvers because they're long and hard. They don't have safety, so they have very heavy trigger pulls. Um, a lot of them have shrouded hammers, so you don't have the option of um, pulling back your hammer if you wanted to. This is a huge revolver. This is not one you would conceal, generally, especially if you're a female, but it still has the same basic parts. Also, the sights are not nearly as easy to see. They're not as intuitive to line up. So, you know, there are a lot of things to consider when you call this easy. Also, women are just as capable of learning the functions and how to run a semi-auto as a man. I've taught both male and female students, hundreds of them, both, and I've never seen that it's more difficult for a female to learn how to shoot or run a semi-auto well than it is for a man. They may learn a little bit differently, they may approach things a little bit differently, but as far as their capacity to learn, I see that as fairly equal. Um, with a semi-automatic, you do have a few more things that you need to learn well. You need to learn to reload quickly, but you would need to learn to reload a revolver quickly, too. Uh, generally, you need to learn how to cycle your slide well, which I've done a video on that before. Um, you need to learn to press your trigger in a controlled manner, which that would be equal with a revolver. You would need to learn that there as well. You'd need to learn to operate safeties. So as you drive the gun forward, you need to learn to take the safety off, and then you'd need to learn to put the safety back on before you draw it back to your person. Um, so there are some differences, but as far as really complicatedness, I would not say that the semi-auto is that much more complicated. It just has different complications. I would say that you need to work very hard to learn your weapon well, whether it be a revolver or a semi-automatic, and everything needs to be reflex. You need to have done it so many times that it's reflex so that if you have to draw your weapon for self-defense, you don't have to think. And I, I think a lot of people assume that if it's a revolver that you wouldn't have to do that, that you wouldn't have to learn that, but you would. Um, also, there's the issue of concealment. Again, this is a K-frame revolver. It's large, but it still has a cylinder, okay? And, you know, this is a semi-automatic right next to it. So we have this issue with concealment. It's a lot easier to conceal a semi-automatic because it's flat and thin rather than having a big round bulge unless you have a rhino, which I've only seen in books. I've never gotten to hold one in my hands or try to conceal one, but a rhino is uh, has a cylinder that's flattened, um, so it has not that big round bulge, but it has flattened edges on it. So yeah, that would probably solve that problem. Now, let's get back to what I would recommend. I don't have a blanket recommendment for all females. A lot of people do. A lot of people say, if you're a female and you come into my store, you're getting a snubby revolver with a concealed hammer. And that's, there's just no question about it. <laughs> that's so, so, so common. I do not have a blanket recommendation. A lot of people ask me over the phone, in person, in messages, in comments. They say, I'm a female. I'm a new shooter. What would you recommend that I buy? Well, I can't do that. I need to know a little more about you. I need to know what you want to use the gun for. I need to know, do you plan to carry it on your person? I need to know, you know, what is your hand strength? What's your hand size? What's your experience with guns? Do you have the intention of investing time and money into training and learning the gun well? 
Um, if you don't plan to wear it on your person, where do you plan to keep it? Things like this all contribute to what I would recommend for a person. And that goes for male or female. There are some females that I might recommend a bigger gun, and there are some males where I might recommend a smaller gun. Small and big aren't necessarily per person. Revolver semi-auto aren't necessarily per person or per gender. So I hope that this information has both answered your question and maybe clarified what people are assuming about me. <laughs> I would say that if I have a brand new shooter that's coming to me, I generally will introduce them to semi-autos right, right off the bat. And I do that because if you learn to grip properly on a semi-automatic right off the bat, then it's easy to switch to a revolver and not get hurt. However, if you learn on a revolver and someone allows you to have a grip that could hurt you on a semi-auto, then you're likely to get hurt when you switch to a semi-auto if someone's not standing there staring at you. So that's one of the reasons I like to start people off with semi-autos. Also, I like to start them off with semi-autos because I want them to know right off the bat that they're perfectly capable of running a semi-auto. They may have been told by other people in their lives that, mm, no, you, you, pr you probably should get a revolver because that would be easier. <laughs> that's so, so common. And that actually squashes a person. It convinces them that they're not capable of something. It kind of portrays them as either unintelligent or un incapable of learning something and that's kind of ridiculous you guys. Let's stop generalizing like that. Let's stop squashing people, okay? Let's, let's be empowering and educating and uh, trust that people have the ability to learn something and not just assume by gender that they need a revolver or a semi-automatic because it really shouldn't be separated that way. Hope the video helps. I kind of rambled for a while, but hopefully I answered the question. If you have a question about this issue or a recommendation or what you recommend to people, go ahead and leave it in, com in the comments below and we'll start a conversation. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.